Hey YouTube, this will be my very first video. This is my 4x16 raised bed. This is a cold weather side. Spinach, cabbage, Brussels sprouts, lettuces, and there's a bell pepper that's actually survived from the spring. I actually had an earth bed when I built this raised bed around it in November. My wife called me at lunchtime today and told me it was 103 degrees inside this little cold frame. I told her to open it up. I got home and much to my surprise, I've got white powdery mildew growing on kale, growing on Brussels sprouts. So I'm not quite sure what to do about it. The spinach barely germinated. As you can see, there's a whole section of it that didn't come up. The lettuces are looking pretty good. Apparently the cabbage, nope, I was going to say the cabbage was immune to white powdery mildew, but there's a little touch on it right there. The middle bed I haven't filled up yet. This was a hot vegetable side. These are actually tomato suckers I pulled off of a big beef indeterminate last year. They were about eight foot tall when it started dying. So I popped these suckers off and just stuck them right in the ground. I had about nine of them. Most of them died. I think I saved about three. I put these little cups down here. So when I water them, I just fill the cup up. And then as the water recedes, I know it's going straight down to the root ball. There's this Kentucky Wonder pole beans I planted. <clears throat> just basically for a cover crop. My intention was to actually plant zucchini on this side. And I wanted the pole beans to affix nitrogen. This is what's left over of some azomite and uh, some Epsom salt concoction I made to try to fix some yellowing I had in these tomato leaves. You can see I have some kind of something started on these leaves. I've got some spots. And I'm not sure if this is from the heat lamp being too close to it. But you can see there's the proximity of the heat lamp. And that's why the temperature was reading at 103 degrees from the wireless thermostat. Okay, I look forward to comments. Thanks.